Hello. All right, it is April 12th, 2019, Friday. The Friday strength workout is started. Uh, first is the uh, warm up, and I'm gonna do the the chin ups as part of the warm up. Warm up. I'm just gonna add those real quick. Last time the video wasn't so clear, so hopefully this one will be a better angle, so you can see a little bit more of like what I call the L shaped uh, chin ups look like. I already stretched out a little bit beforehand, so. Didn't want to waste time on video with that. Already going to be wasting it probably shooting for about an hour on this. So, <clears throat> and as always, these are the, the workout videos. So, unless you have a real specific reason to watch this, it's probably a waste of your time. Um, so, do good and productive things somewhere else, please. I don't want to be at fault for wasting your time, but there are at least two people out in the world that do get value from this, and uh, actually I do too. Um, it has forced me, so I thank you, you were right, uh, it has forced me to be more consistent with my workouts. Um, otherwise, today I wouldn't be doing it right now, I'd be doing it later than right now, but I was like, oh man, I gotta uh, upload it too, and all this, and it just meant lent to me, you know, putting it as a higher priority, so thank you. <clears throat> and maybe I'll do a video on uh, habits and priorities and hidden ways to make things more of a priority. For example, videotaping something. Who would have thought videotaping something for somebody else would make it more of a priority and you're more likely to do it, uh, uh, put it at, at a higher priority on a list. Anyway, all right, right to it. Just gonna do the, get into the L shape, which is this, trying to straighten my knees out. And then just go for three. Not really going crazy here. All right, so that's three like that. I think that's three. Hopefully I can count to three. I should be able to count to three. I should be able to count to four, I'm a drummer. Um, anyway, all right, <clears throat> at least four, if not sev. And that's a, that's a joke for drummers that, uh, that regularly do things in seven or Seb. All right. Whew. This is uh, the eccentric portion. Uh, this is based upon something I was reading that says uh, eccentric does some good stuff. So the concentric is the actual chin up. So this is slow. Relatively slow. Four of these guys. And just Oh, that one's nice and slow. <laughs> the tiniest parachute. And one more. Oh, there we go. That feels about right. Hopefully that was framed well. Thank you, tripod and chair. All right. So yeah, I think that I, I probably got a better job of that. All right. Now there's this, which is the real warm up. All right, good enough for me. The production on value on this is amazing. Eight dollar tripod. Woo. All right. Same thing here, 13 of these. I'm gonna have fun count this time. See if I can get it. Good news is I'm on video, so I'll know. This feels like my back is straight, but I'll look on the video and actually see if it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, it's a love affair with the earth. I kissed the ground a few times on that one. Uh, not hard or anything. No real worries. Not intentional either, but just trying to go down that extra bit low and that extra bit high. Really trying to get a, a full 
Um, <coughs> motion. Maximize the motion as much as possible. All right. <coughs> Speaking about maximize the motion, usually with these, the first one or two, I'll go ahead and count them through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. The first few of those, one, two, <laughs> Three, four, five, six. All right, so that should have been a 13, seven, six. Uh, feeling good. All right. Okay. So on the squats, the body weight squats, what I am doing is just uh, the first two. My heels seem to come up. Ideally, I hope this is best for form. I'm not sure. Maybe there's somebody out there that knows this. Is it better to do squats like that with your heels connected to the ground? Or, like I do, I sometimes lift my heels a little bit. I would guess heels to ground is optimum or is best. Going to try to stay away from optimums. Don't need to go go too far into that. All right. You get lost in the optimums. You forget about the main objective. Uh, you know, drilling down into the minutia. All right. I already preset the weight. I already checked it, so I trust myself. I'm going to do a breathing exercise. Shoot, I forgot to kind of hydrate a little bit beforehand. And I do have some liquid in the freezer that might freeze up, so I should do that after this set. But since I'm already right here, let's go ahead and do this set. <coughs> oh, that's heavy. Oh, that one's heavy too. Whew. By the way, this exercise is five exercises, or this workout's five exercises, as you well know. Incline bench is the first. Next is uh, the machine, the cable machine, and that is uh, just a chest exercise, like a flat bench, simulating a flat bench. And the uh, next one after that is like a kind of a cable pull down. Uh, next one after that, if I remember correctly, is going to be hammer curls back on this bench. And uh, the last one will be. Uh, Bent over, reverse flies. I think that's how it goes. All right. <clears throat> okay, let's, all right. I'm gonna use my legs to push these up because I would possibly injure myself if I just use my arms only and just try to muscle it up. So while I'm leaning back, I'm gonna use a little bit of momentum too. So, but I'm gonna one to it. So, one, two, get my legs back locked into position. Only going for six of these. One, two, three, four, five, take a couple seconds right there that was an interesting feeling note to self I should be very careful going a little bit wide with the weights should try to keep them a little bit more narrow dangerous but above my face above my chest uh, if I go too wide uh, it, it gets millimeters make a difference harder to push up when I go wide like that maybe that's cheating 
but control I think is most important. I, I noticed maybe it was the second or third one I lost a little bit of control by going a little bit wider on the left side. Definitely felt it more on the left side as soon as I did that and corrected that after. Uh... Too bad I don't have a shot of the video from top down. Um, you would be able to see what I'm talking about, but I'll make a quick description of it. Oh goodness. All right. Only two more sets of these. And I'm gonna dial it down a bit. But that was part of the plan I do. Dial it down a bit. There we go. Yeah, the next is gonna be like five pounds lighter and two more repetitions. So uh, six, eight, 10, diminishing the weight each time. All right, so as you know, it's already been written out. And sometimes I'd write these out way ahead of time. It feels really good when I write it out um, 20 minutes prior to doing the workout. Kind of gives me a connection with it. It lets, a little, lets it be a little bit fresh in my head, so. <sighs> Goodness be. The liquid already sweat. Things I should probably go over in this video that I'll check mark, but as I'm thinking of them, I'm not going to waste time talking about it now because I'm really in the workout. But I'm gonna put 20 hour fast. Those are the two things I'm going to talk about at the end of this. I might talk about more. I know that you uh, probably like the end of the videos because I talk so much, but let's focus on focusing. I just rehydrated a little bit. Nothing, uh, nothing with any caloric value. All right. take my legs out of the, the spots. Hey, not as bad as last time. Whew. You think I wouldn't notice the difference in like five pounds, but it feels slightly easier than I did last time. Hopefully that will extend to these, especially if I keep my form very correct. Oh. All right, get everything in place and one. wobbly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Goodness being the expletive of the day, by the way. Oh, there it is. There it is. I love 
it when it goes in there smoothly. So many times I've tried to put the weights down and uh, when I'm out of gas, just whew, not be able to put it, slide it in there correctly. I know there's a joke there, I'm not gonna say it. All right. Whew. Another rest. This one felt like it was gonna be a short rest, but I'm gonna take a bit longer. If you want, we can do breathing exercises together. I'll do the fingertip method instead of just the single finger method. Fingertips, gonna go through seven breaths. All right. Okay. All right, so breathing together, making it flow properly. Putting things in the right, right correct place inside your mind. So much so that you lose the ability to talk. Okay. <clears throat> We're on the last one. I already made the weight change. This will be a set of 10. Uh, goodness. Expletive of the day. Goodness be. What will become of me? Okay, that was a little bit more intense than I thought it should be. Ah, just yanking that up. Hey, thanks. Be nice to your joints. That's also why I'm kind of going for the slow and controlled thing, being nice to my joints. By the way, uh, the track that I'm going on, imagine going your arms as straight as possible, straight as possible, and um, connecting where the, the, the butts of the two weights touch. And then it kind of goes in a little bit of a letter V. V up, and V down. So that's the, it's like railroad tracks uh, disappearing into the distance. Um, they're parallel, but if you look at it in a picture or a drawing, they don't look parallel. Um, anyway, parallel lines in the distance, so to speak, connecting to a point. A focal point? I don't know. Horizon point? Horizon line? No, not horizon line. I don't know. I, I need to learn a little bit more about drawing, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> Enough of this. Get my feet out of the spot spots. Get ready to go backwards. I'm going to start left and then right. There we go. All right. This is going to be one. <sighs> Two. It's amazing how much easier this was than the first one. Three. Four, maybe it was the breathing. Five, I guess I'm not going too super, super slow here. Six. Seven. Now feeling it. Eight. Nine, almost done. That last one, that was a 
was hopefully where the, wow, I almost dropped my right weight because it didn't situate properly as I was putting it forward on the, the meat of my right leg. Okay. Then there's this part. <laughs> All right, also gonna get ready for the hammer curls, which is coming up four. Gonna look at the, the weight. By the way, the hammer curls, the second set is the one that's being increased today. At the end of the workout, the question is, what in the next Friday workout should be increased by a small amount? Last week, it was the Hammer Girls first set. This week is Hammer Curls second set. So there's a little bit of a built-in, you know, um, easiness in there. So yeah, I hope a lazy man like me can consistently do this. And the goal is do this minimum for the next two years. This is the minimum amount of strength workout I'm doing. I might do some other stuff to augment that. And I am doing some other stuff to augment that. But the basis of building my strength will be these workouts, Monday, Wednesday, Friday on video. And it'll be awesome at the end of two years. Maybe we'll see each other again. Maybe we'll look at the video and we'll look at the first video. <sighs> Pretty much what I'm considering the first video, the video uh, with wings. Um, anyway, we'll look at that. And uh, we'll look at where I'm at. Look at the last video two years later and it will be Oh, it'll be like, wow, your movement is so much more fluid or wow, your body is really, you're not nearly as gross looking as before. I don't know. I don't know what it'll be. That's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm crossing the fingers for. So I cross the fingers, but I also do the work. Um, the good news is this work is not, not, not terribly difficult. And uh, the decision fatigue, oh, what, what weight should I do next? All taken out of here. And the resting and the talking. Big part of the resting and the talking and the breathing is so I can put a better effort towards the next set, next, set, next exercise. Uh, that's kind of built into this thing. And the good news is, hey, I'm doing this at home, so I don't, I don't have to hurry up and get in line for the weights and all that kind of stuff. I can do this at my leisure, except for the time constraint, which is the video. Yeah, how lame is this? I've taken an hour and a half to do this workout. I think I answered a phone call in between, though. So, all right. This one. Say hello to the chair. Let's... Yeah, that, that's a... Good angle right there. I'm gonna look at something real quick. All right, I already prepped this one. So. Okay. All right, we are where we need to be. This one's already been set at the appropriate weight. Excuse me. That felt great. Just waiting for that to come out. Hopefully I'm doing this loud enough so you can follow along and feel along if you like.
Okay, hopefully that was eight. And here's something I was thinking about while doing that set. Should have been focusing on muscles. But I was thinking about how annoying if the wrong person is watching this video, like, I want to get a workout. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, this guy seems like he knows what he's doing. He, or, okay, maybe he doesn't, whatever. For whatever reason, they're like, oh God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work out with this guy. And then they're getting so angry at all the talking I'm doing in between sets. There's a reason for that. It's part of the break in between sets. It's part of the recovery, so I can really push forth the most in the next set. The breathing is part of that too, but I'm not gonna sit there and, maybe I should. One of these times I will sit there and breathe just for one to two minutes. But talking, it's a amazing way to kill time. And a camera is one of the best listeners in the world, as long as it's on, and even when it's not. The camera and its brother, the wall, they, they, they really, they really know how to listen. Okay, switch weight. Then a breath exercise, and then it's game on. I'm gonna do all news this time.
this one is me standing. That feels heavier than before. Oh, yeah. Nope, that's right. I guess I'm just wiped out from the last one. I'm gonna do a quick breathing. Rusty, rusty lantern out of the way. Yeah, that feels Breathing. Wow. Yeah. Both of those got me in very special ways. Oh, feeling the workout. Feeling it. Okay. It does seem very proper. I am at almost 35 minutes. The last two exercises. Null sweat on this one. All right. Probably already said it. But. In the spirit of double checks, I will double check myself. Reasonably sure I said it. So, instead of set it and forget it, set it and remember to double check it. Double check good. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah, we're good. Is it hammer curls or incline hammer curls? It might just be, it's just hammer curls. 
there is no incline on this because incline is normal curls. Oh, do I feel silly. Three, three quick breaths and then it's game on. Bend the knees a little bit. Oh, a little too much momentum there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Screw it, I'm going with momentum. Feeling it. Six. Only two more, man. Seven. That last set took a lot out of me, I think. Eight. Goodness. Change the weight. Thinking geometrically. It's clockwise to increase the weight. It's counterclockwise to decrease the weight. So, even though this side and this side, it's dialing it different. Thinking geometrically. <sighs> Breathing exercise. Don't go right into it. Really trying to fill up the lungs instead of the belly. Belly breaths do weird things to me. It always feels better to try to breathe in such a way where if I feel the lungs are separated, I'm gonna do this on video, see if it changes anything. Put my hands right here. I'm gonna actually watch to see if my shoulders widen. Right, this is me almost at zero. No air, pretty much. Oh, a little bit, you know. All right. Now I'm going to watch. Maybe it's just my body moving. I'm not sure, but it feels like from like, you know, right there, right there with the bottom of the lung, just whoosh, always feels better than trying to get into belly breath. So I've, I've heard a lot of amazing things and I've done it. And uh, sometimes when you go to a place and you park, and you're about to get out of the car because you have a meeting or something. Those seven belly breaths, those are useful in that situation. This, I think I get more strength and more returning to being able to do more with uh, kind of trying to do uh, lung breaths. Belly breaths versus lung breaths. I don't know which is better, but so far it seems like for certain things, Lung breaths are a lot better. Um, I don't even know if there's a difference there. Maybe I'm just built weird. Wouldn't be the first thing I'm built weird in. Oh. All right. It's going to be 10 of these.
three, four, five, six, seven. Nine. Ten. Okay. Whew. This exercise has a Special feeling in my heart. Good, gentle reminders. Happier times. And yes, if you get disgusted by emotional displays, there's going to be probably about two years worth of emotional displays. Well, that's been emotional. Get to work. Maybe I should have bent down further on that one. By the way, this will be a set of five. This last one is a weird one. Lighter weight. First set is 15, second set is five. Then there's three more sets of five. Total of four sets of five on this whole exercise, total of five sets. Not much rest needed. Maybe three breaths each time. I'll take care of that now. See if I can, there we go. It's so weird when your shoulders touch your knees. That is a strange state to be in, but it feels good on my back. Like there's a pressure being lessened that is almost like universally there. And then like, as soon as you take it off, it's just like, oh, but there's a new pressure that develops too. So you don't want, I can tell my body doesn't want to stay in this position too long. That's probably why the breathing feels weird. And we're gonna make a joke about the smell, but we're not gonna make a joke about the smell. One of those had too much momentum, so I added a bonus onto it. And the cool thing is, because it's only a set of five, you can really, really, or at least I can, really, really try to go far back as possible. I think there's something magical 
let's not use the word magical. I think there's something special in having that arm as far back as possible, like maybe the elbow above the back. I think there's something good muscular there that, here's what I've heard. If you want big looking muscles, do exercises that don't use the full range of motion. So instead of going like straight to all the way, and that's as far as I go, sadly, I wish I could go a little bit further. As soon as I uh, can't touch my shoulders, it becomes hard time to really, really do a lot more stretching. But that's my threshold. Can't touch your shoulders, do stretches. Anyway, yeah, you can touch my other shoulder. Um, if you can't wipe your own ass, anyway, uh, you're not going there. Um, anyway, touch your shoulders. Life's good. You can do a lot of things as long as you can touch your own shoulders with your own hands. Left shoulder, left hand, or right shoulder, right hand. Anyway, <clears throat> here's what I've heard. This might be a pro tip for anybody that wants to look big. Uh, full extension, you're gonna have a smoothness in your muscle. If you do partial extension, you're gonna build up the middle part of it. And that middle part makes it look big because it's a, a difference. And it's like the greater the difference, the greater the ratio, the more built a person looks. So I'm after something that's not necessarily about the look, although uh, I definitely wouldn't mind looking better. I don't think that's a, I don't think that'll do any disadvantages to my life. Matter of fact, there's a lot of things my life could really use that looking better is kind of part way to the key to being there. But, um, well, we won't call it needs, we'll say maybe wants. Anyway, but what I'm interested in is very functional and also very health oriented. So I'm hoping that full air extensions, as far as I can go straight and as far, like I see people do chin ups and they start out with their arms already bent and they don't go from like a hanging position. And it's just like, whoa, like if you ever need to like jump over a fence or jump on top of something that's really high and climb up on the roof of something but like what if you can barely reach and you, you can reach with your full extension but you're not going to get there i guess momentum helps i mean uh almost anybody can do a single chin up from uh but like why not have that strength there and ready for you because sometimes you grab it on to stuff it's different ways and all that kind of stuff i mean ultimately if i get to my goal weight uh the there's only two or three reasons I want to get to the uh, particular goal weight. But when I get to my goal weight, which is lighter than I am now, um, uh, I want so bad to do from a full hang, one arm chin up, either side. Oh my goodness, but now I'm talking too much. So back to work. I think I only got one set left. I'm gonna do two more just because I talked so much. And I feel like I've missed my, I'll just do a set of 10. Screw it, I'll do a set of 13. <laughs> All right, I kind of bookended that one, but it felt proper especially with the, the amount of talking I was doing. I'm guessing that was maybe three minutes, if not more, of talking. I'm really shooting for a max of two minute breaks in between sets, or yeah, in between sets and exercises. So this is the end, that's it, I'm done. If you followed along, great. If you watched while this video is putting you to sleep, even better. If you shut it off and don't even hear this part, well, I got a few choice words for you that you'll never hear. Uh, neither one of anybody else. Um, but it doesn't come out of a place of anger, it comes out of a place of love, I hope. Um, weird word, love. I don't know. Some people say the more you say it, the less it's of value.
can't explain a lot of things. If you watch this and you think I'm an expert, I'm an expert on any of this stuff, I'm not. I'm just questing, man. <laughs> I'm just trying to find something. I got an idea, and I have the intestinal fortitude to push it out. Ooh, that's a good thing. I have the intestinal fortitude to go through with my idea. It's a little bit better, not my bunch. All right, let's see here. 20 hour fasts. All right, so here's a fun way of thinking about 20 hour fasts. Uh, think about shifts. Like let's say somebody is working late at a gas station. They might be working the, the 12 to eight shift or the 11 to seven shift or the, uh, the day person might be doing a nine to five. Like we know, we know these numbers intrinsically, but if we flip these numbers around, we also get the 20 hour fast. So for example, nine to five, okay. Well, we'll switch it up to five to nine. Well, actually, you know what? We'll keep it nine to five. Cause at 9 p.m., last thing I ate last night was at approximately 9 p.m. The first thing I'm gonna eat today is gonna be at 5 p.m. Cool. <laughs> Only a few more hours left. Uh, what, four more hours, according to this? Wow. That's not bad at all. You can do that standing on my head. No, I can't. I can only stand on my head for like, <laughs> not very long. All right, so <clears throat> that's the 20 hour fast. Easy way to remember it. Uh, just think nine to five and think 11 to seven. So if the last thing you ate was at 11 p.m. last night, then 7 a.m. Now let's say you the last thing you ate was at like 4 p.m. Oh my goodness, what the, what the, what the hell is a, a 4 p.m. now? Um, well, there's the eight to four, but that would be 8 p.m., so 4 p.m. Well, basically that's just gonna be noon. Uh, sadly, the other way to do it is just subtract by four. So 4 p.m., noon. 3 p.m., 11 a.m. Or you can go 1500 to like 11. So that's also four hours. So switch it up to uh, 24 hour time. And then, uh, you know, and 24 hour time is just adding 12. So yeah, there's a lot of number things playing around here. But basically, you should be able to do, or at least I'm telling myself, hey, Yorm, you should be able to do 20 hour fast mathematically in your head like that. Just take note of the last thing you eat and say, this is the last thing I'm gonna eat for today. What time is it? Oh, it's 8.40, we'll call that nine o'clock. Or it's 9.10, or it's 21.10, well, we'll call that nine o'clock, whatever. There's a little bit of rounding, but I don't wanna say like, oh, you know, I can eat at 4.40 p.m. Um, or 16.40 or whatever. Like, I'm gonna say, just make it a simple number. Uh, I don't think 30 minutes either way matter too much, but I might be wrong on that. And I've only done two 40 plus hour fasts. One was like 42, one was a little over 48, I think. Uh, that's since I've been starting this fasting thing and like all the major changes in my life. Like I said, there's been about seven major changes and I would like to reiterate them. The first one, which I was really psyched about was, uh, well, I thought I had the most potential, but I end up forgetting it sometimes. So I only do it about once every two weeks. Soon it'll be once every week. Maybe tomorrow or uh, Sunday I'll, I'll do a video on that. But I've already done my first kind of workout video type thing that wasn't really for this project, but it was for just throwing the idea out in the world because I felt it should be out in the world. Um, was that seven seconds push uh, or seven, six seconds push, four second hold, six seconds back, four second hold, or seven seconds, somewhere in, the, in those numbers. And that was uh, meditation plus breathing plus workout. So that was the first thing I did. Second thing was comfort tolerance test, uh, which is just one set once a week of some exercise that I feel like either A, I'm really strong in, or B, I uh, really, really weak in. Or C, just like, okay, I, I'm gonna just get this out of the way for this week, just tick that box. Uh, that is um, comfort tolerance test, and that's just do a set uh, beyond comfortability. Like, see where your comfort really, really ends. Like, okay, I'm doing it, it's getting uncomfortable here, but I'm gonna keep going, keep going, keep going, and try to play around with the idea of near muscle failure, but not quite muscle failure. I don't wanna get into that zone too often. 
just because I've gone there before and it's led to injury and I've been out of commission for like sometimes entirely too long and well which is weird here's the funny thing let's say you get an injury um, and you, you totally went to failure and and you physically just couldn't go beyond that and you had the mental fortitude to go there or something like maybe I just didn't tap into uh, what some people would call the cookie jar and all that kind of stuff I just didn't wasn't able to whatever like total failure feeling the failure uh, but also wanting to go through it maybe I just didn't have a, a, a dog chasing me or something I don't know um, but for whatever reason got to failure uh, there's been a couple times I've gotten to failure and uh, worked out almost no weight or a little bit and just kind of did it a little bit and then like wow so let's say it takes six weeks of complete rest not really doing much with uh, it's weird because like rarely have I ever hurt both arms or both sides on something but it switches one side then the other sometimes anyway <clears throat> so injury uh, far away from my best but I can do a little tiny bit recover faster let's say it takes five weeks to recover that way but like injury no total rest total rest total rest six seven weeks to recover weird um, but a little bit of motion and that, that makes me go into my third thing which is uh, comfort workout uh, example the first thing you saw me do was a very comfortable what I would call a comfort workout which is just three chin-ups in that L shape and uh, and uh, three, uh, four uh, um, eccentric uh, letdowns. I guess a, I let myself down four times. Um, so yeah, there is that. So that's that's why we call a comfortable mini workout. And I do those all the time. I got a couple different chin-up bars in my house, and uh, I got places where I got spots for uh, uh, doing you know calf raises and. And, and weights everywhere so I can throw up, you know, all sorts of different things. Um, anyway, that's a mini workout. And it even counts for cardio because I got a rowing machine I sometimes throw out there and uh, I got a little running machine, I some, a walking slash running machine type thing. And it's easy, just get on it and go. Don't even turn the thing on. I don't even think the batteries for the thing work anymore. Uh, but I just go. It, it does its job, I don't need to read the readout. Um, uh, same thing with the rowing machine. Um, so that is, first was breath plus meditation plus workout, second was comfort tolerance test, which is going far beyond your comfort zone. See how much tolerance you have beyond your comfort zone. Then there's the comfortable mini workout, which is just comfy, feels good. After you do it, you actually feel a little energized. Those three chin-ups and those four go-downs like actually charge me up a little bit, get some blood flowing. Uh, next thing would be intermittent fasting, which is going for that 20 hour thing, which I just talked about which got me into this. Um, uh, next thing would probably be, uh, there's been a couple things I've added on, but definitely trying to do the, the seven to nine hours of sleep thing. Do, not always possible because sometimes I do uh, do various things where I have to go out of the house and do stuff. But fortunately, most of those things are voluntary. Um, so I might start skipping more and more of those. I've already skipped the last two weeks of one thing, so. And nobody's called me up and like, hey, we miss you. Um, so, you know, that's good and bad. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, a sixth thing has been 40, 30, 30, 40% of my calories from protein. I might switch that up, um, to a different thing. I might do 50, 50. Uh, I'm not going to do it yet, but 40, 30, 30 for right now has been pretty good. So that was the 20 hour fast, uh, 40, 30, 30, 40% calories from protein. Uh, basically the breakdown of that, seven grams of protein for every nine grams of sim simple carbohydrate for every um, two grams of monosaturated fat. All right, uh, yeah, carbo carbs, fat, proteins. Um, let's see here, there was something else in there. I always forget these because I'm pretty sure that there's like seven of them. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, I got my cues set up so I actually do it. I only have to remember them in sequence, although part of me is wanting to remember them in sequence for whatever reason. Uh, maybe to make it make sure I do it because, like I said, I did forget a couple weeks of that meditation breath uh, uh, workout. So anyway, so those are those. Uh, me talking too much. Let's see what we got here. The next thing I was going to 
talk about was okay yeah we, I've already hit that meditation breath workout another okay so I might do another video on the meditation breath workout because I think in the last video I only did um, the psalm that was on gets me through I think three cycles I don't know and um, yeah the psalm very very important because you don't have to actually count the seconds in your head so you can really focus on the breathing and the muscles and all that um, maybe I'll do it again with incline and I'll just do it real lightweight because um, that felt good it really smooths out your muscles in some weird way I, I, I hope hope uh, makes it more uh, injury resistant um, anyway so yeah the one or two people that actually might watch this uh, get in contact with me on that this is me officially asking uh, I think one of you actually liked that video I did where I was doing um, the, the the meditation workout where you know you start you have that full extension there anyway um, so yeah let me know I might do another week um, video this weekend or next weekend uh, other than that there's so many weird things I could talk about going on in my life and I know that you like having these little weird one-sided chats where you can listen and happily fall asleep because I am painfully boring um, stuff I can think about is stuff I don't really want to talk about um, but yeah I miss my little girl a lot but here's something to talk about it works um, dealing with your grief in different ways works the, the three times method works uh, appreciation works uh, the three times method has appreciation already built into that method. That's a crucial part of that method. Um, and there was a there was a couple other methods that I run through that I really need on occasion. Um, but yeah, don't want to think about that too much right now. Think about good, different, good things. Um, yeah, it's it's amazing what you can do is as soon as you start feeling bad or start feeling something uh have just a go-to response and it's like okay this is my chance to use this tool in my toolbox and it's like great um if someone just says you know for whatever reason you're doing something they're like you fucking suck well okay you know there's a whole toolbox <laughs> of tools hopefully in your mind and I know that there's one that's being developed in my mind um, that has some tools that work and they're like okay let's examine the situation um, in a very quick and cursory way something that can take less than a half a second and uh, find something useful out of that and turn it into a better situation not that I really want people to say that I suck because that'll make me better somehow but um, that's life and there are for whatever reason I'm not gonna blame them uh, it's just easier for me not to but yeah there are assholes out there there are people doing bad things um, thank goodness it's not my job to judge them and uh, if they, they they come along my way and uh, affect my life negatively uh, minimize the damage but also use that as a chance to get a little bit of uh, use out of the tools that you've developed in your own head an excellent opportunity um, you don't want to overuse those tools but you want to keep them sharp you want to keep them handy and like I said the tools with grief are very sharp right now they're, they're, they're really becoming well used 
and also, yeah, I have uh, friends that are dealing with grief at various stages and various things. And anyway, that is enough of me talking. Should end this on a good note. Not sure what that good note is, but yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna try to do one or two good things for uh, people I, I care about uh, today. I, uh, I gotta figure out what exactly those one or two things are, but uh, I'm gonna try to be helpful, be part of uh, yeah, here's a good thought. Uh, I use this a lot, and it's almost a throwaway saying, but um, when I'm not throwing it out there and throwing it away, uh, I try never to actually throw it away, because it, it, when I think about it, it, it really helps me. But it's like, hey, this life thing, we're all in this together. Which, it's so trite and so easy to throw away, but uh, when I go deeper into that, um, it leads to some good places. It leads to me closer, you know, becoming closer to the person I want to be. Um, which is things like non-comparison, strangely enough. That, that phrase leads to not competing or not comparing. I mean, I'm always competing with myself in certain areas. Uh, in other areas, I've let go of that competition, but um, in certain areas, I'm always competing with myself, and that's my past self versus my future self. Um, so yeah, welcome to life. We're all in this together. <clears throat> Later, it shall be.